All right, today we're looking at the DG41MJ. This thing is uh, very, very small. It's a mini ITX motherboard, as you can see. It couldn't be any smaller. It's literally like the size of my hand. How small is that thing? Very cool little design. Socket 775. This thing will actually support just about any 775 processor up to a 65 watt uh, thermal barrier, pretty much up to 65 watt processors. That means basically a ton of quad cores, a ton of core 2 duos, all Celerons, all Pentiums, uh, pretty much all those 775 chips will work on this board. That means you can actually make a decently powerful little mini computer uh, using this type of technology, using this type of micro or mini ITX board. Um, it so will support up to 8 gigabytes of RAM if you have 4 gigabyte DIMMs, but most likely you're going to use two 2 gigabyte DIMMs up to 4 gigabytes, and you're going to throw, let's say, a Q6600 on there, and you're going to have a computer it's actually pretty fast, faster than most people's computers with a quad core in a package that's this small. I mean, this is like a coaster. It's really, really small, um, and it's pretty impressive. So uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's on here. Now, first of all, uh, this is the G41 Express chipset. Um, so it's actually uh, built in right here, G41 Express chipset, um, and that basically has an integrated graphics chipset, and then it does everything else on its own. Um, it's basically a two-chip system, and then it has a south bridge. Uh, it's got... Uh, you know, its own integrated graphics. You do have a DVI and a VGA. You have a serial port. I have no idea why. PS2, two USB 2.0 ports right here, two more over here, 10 100 1000 Ethernet, and then uh, 5.1 channel HD audio. So it's pretty nice. Six channels. It's the ALC 888VC uh, chipset. Uh, it's got a PCI Express slot, three SATA ports, which is pretty good. That means you can do a little RAID array, or you can have a you know, little mini SSD, and then a storage drive. It's pretty convenient. Uh, and then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, you have two DIMMs, so up to eight gigabytes of memory, but most likely, again, four gigabytes. Uh, you also want to know that this does have a 24-pin motherboard connector right there, so make sure that you get a power supply that has either a 24 or a 20 plus four uh, motherboard connector for the power. Uh, also, it's important to note, where is it at? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Here they are, right over here. You got two additional USB 2.0 headers right there. So it's good to know that you have four on the back and you have an additional four here. These will break away into two and two. Uh, this is your 12-volt your power for your CPU. Make sure that you have a four-pin power supply. It's kind of the older ones. New ones for that are super powerful are going to be eight-pin, but of course you're not going to be putting a super powerful power supply in this computer because like a you know, motherboard is so tiny, you wouldn't want to do that. It'd be kind of dumb. Uh, and that's basically it. What a great little motherboard. comes with a three-year warranty, which uh, I really like. Three-year warranties are pretty rare in the motherboard uh, industry, so Intel's really backing this one. Um, if you want to put this on a mini ITX case, they, they have mini ITX cases that mount with a VESA to the back of a TV or the back of a display, so you basically have a computer hanging off the back of the display. You never see the darn thing. It, it's like it doesn't exist. And you have a display that actually has a computer, so that's very cool. You can put it on the back of your TV, make a home theater system, get like a, uh, uh, like a gyration air mouse. I have one down here, but it's under stuff. Basically, just point at your screen, use it as a computer, use it as a home theater system. Very, very useful little motherboard, and it can be very powerful depending on what processor you put in here. Uh, you can also maybe take an old processor from an old computer, maybe a Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz. That'll work nice in here. So, uh, sweet little board. It's the uh, DG41MJ from Intel. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. So if you want to get some more information on the Intel DG41MJ motherboard, go to com.pewter.tv and type in Intel DG41MJ. Computer TV, I'm Albert.